So. Hey everybody, what's going on? Dustin here with another NASCAR Diecast review. Now, I know what you're thinking. Don't I usually have like an above light above me? Well, well actually a top light above me. Well, unfortunately, the problem is... Something actually did happen to it. To it. it, it worked fine on the last diecast review. Uh, this is the first time I'm not utilizing it because whenever I go here, I'm trying to turn it on. It turns out. I don't know if you just saw that. It turns out there is a short in it, so that's kind of a bummer. So that's why it's not turning on. I don't know how that's going to affect me whatsoever. I don't know if a wire kind of got frayed out or something chewed on it or what. So it's just a weird mystery. If you saw it turn on just a little bit and then it shut off, yes, there is a, a short in it. Which is, however, unfortunate. So. So, I guess I'm going to have to adapt to whatever I can do. So, today we're taking a look at, possibly for the first time ever, we're reviewing a yet another a small team. I don't know what is up with me in small teams. This is just... This is about... I don't know. I've reviewed the uh, RR Racing, then our Motorsports. So, this is actually... Uh, Young's Motorsports. What's next? <laughs> For me, so. <laughs> and it's a new driver, too, so. We have ourselves another new driver. This is the uh, Tate Fog. Blech. I can't even speak today. Tate Fogelman, Chevy Silverado 250, winner from Talladega, Alabama, October 2nd, 2021. Nice truck with that bark texture on it so this is the race win card with Tate Fogelman on it the time of the race took 2 hours 6 minutes 17 seconds he starts winning now you really think the anybody with a small team would finish uh, in the top 10 well with Talladega guess what that's not the case any other race they would have been in the back but I guess Tate kind of found himself in the right place at the right time Sorry if I'm sniffling. Total laps at 99 or 263.34 miles. Six cautions for 29 laps. There were for stage finishing for basically the cautions were either for either a cop caution or stage finishes. But there were some wrecks in there. I think there was a big wreck there too. How about this? Tate only led one lap. The one lap that matters the most coming to the checkered flag. So I'm going to go ahead and get this truck up off the base and I'll see you on the flip side. And I'm back and as you can see this truck is just, this is a literal meaning of race version right here. This one, uh, Kevin Harvick, Martin Trex Jr., uh, Joey Logano, like, their race wins are very, very impressive. And I can imagine, uh, Lionel actually did put in a lot of work and a lot of details in, because look, there's a lot of scraping along the side. I can imagine Tate got in, involved in a wreck. I think that big multi-car wreck. I shouldn't say multi-car wreck, multi-truck wreck, so you can literally see all the scrapings and all. Of course, we got the tire mark there where the 12 is. And we also really love the uh, camo design, the bar camo, which is, of course, obscured by the uh, scratchings and everything. And there are some uh, abrasions on the uh, tires as well. Like right here, you can see the Goodyear markings just completely almost rubbed off. 
And of course, the yeah, twelve. The bottom part of the twelve is a uh, skirt by the tire marking. And it looks like some of the sponsors you can still see on here. Like Magic Bomb B Pillar, we still have Chevrolet. We have a solid Rock Carriers and Young's Motorsports. We also have Tate Fogelman's name upon the name rail. We have Benelli, Simply Perfect. We got Real Tree, Federal, Provider, Jargon, American Almond Beef. I shouldn't say that until the vegan teacher attacks me. <laughs> but I could care less. You can see all the uh, amount of uh, taping on here. That's just what I really love about about these is of all the details they put in. You can see the back is a is actually a little bit messed up, and of course it is a Silverado as well. And the kind of ironically is so so that a Chevy Silverado winning the Chevy Silverado 250. You have the abandoned. Sponsorship. I think that's what it was. I can't tell if that's an E and or an A. Looks like an E. Up on the uh, toenail cover. Everything's still the same. Everything looks normal. Yeah, the SCI first for hunters. And the Chevrolet bow tie on here. We also have the, uh, the braces holding the back window. And if you can hear him sniffling, I still feel a little bit under the weather. And, uh, and I also just want to notice out of all the tire details on here. Like, of course, he has some of the flat spots here. I think there's one on the rear tire as well. And of course, there's one up on the front. Let me tell you one thing: they couldn't even pilot this. They can't even pilot this thing back to uh, Victory Lane. He had had a had a tow truck to do it, or I think what was it? Post race inspection. He had actually had it towed out for Victory Lane. So that just kind of shows you how much damage it had. Got a little bit of taping here. And of course this side's a little bit cleaner. And of course you got this little uh, tire mark, a little fender rub. Got the number 12. And of course we got a lot of taping right here. And if I really want to compare this one, I really might compare this to the uh, Eric Jones uh, Sports Clips car that I done a couple of years ago where there was like taping up on the hood it was just really really well detailed and this one is just really takes the cake off of it and unfortunately the hood does not open nor the wheels do turn Interior's well made, well detailed. It's all molded plastic. Kind of like a little model kit in there. And of course, the underside's just all molded chassis. Now, the question is where can you find the uh, die cast identification number? Well, glad you asked, and I will show it to you. If you actually angle it up, you can't actually peer inside and see it for yourself. Right now my camera's fighting with to see who which one's focused a lot better. So I got a diecast number six ninety eight. Hey, so six ninety eight checking in. I forgot to uh, forgot to tell you how many these diecast cards have been produced. Let me look. There's 900, and there are 924 of these are made. And 
do I do I like this truck? Well, it is very well detailed. To be honest, it is really amazing from the front to the back. Well, I almost I actually forgot to review the front anyway. So this is the uh, front. This is the uh, Chevy Silverado, and the uh, sponsor is a uh, Traeger Wood Fire Grills. I've actually never heard of them before. I've heard of Pit Boss Grills, but not Tra Traeger. Got the Camper World Series banner. We also got the number 12. And this little dome right here is actually for the radio or the onboard camera. So that way they can have a keep radio signals or camera signals uh, on the truck if needed. So, do I like this truck? Yes, I do. It's very well detailed, very well amazing. And will I ever get this signed in the future? I. I think I might. Now what would actually be a very good uh, paint marker color for this one for the windshield. I can rule out black because I got this little pet peeve about you know black markers being on windshields. Unless if it's on the hood which is understandable. But I don't think it'll be, it'll be right on a windshield. Yeah, I think that'd be all for this review. Excuse me if I uh, yawn. A little bit tired, a little bit under the weather as well. So if you like this review, leave a like, comment on here for input. Subscribe to this channel for more NASCAR diecast reviews. I try to publish these out the best way I can. However, I am a Circle B diecast affiliate. Use coupon code Kruger at checkout for... $5 shipping on all orders, $30 or more. I actually did use it on a couple of 164 scale cars that I bought. And one of them is actually the Ryan Priest Hunt Brothers Pizza car. It has been canceled in 124 and 124 Elite. So I'm getting it in 164 scale. So it's going to be a rare one. Also, finally, Rick will... Rick Ware has his own diecast car, the 51, so please do check that out. It's going to be a rare one. So anyway, my name is Dustin, and I will see you guys in another video. And I will publish updates on, on my wiring issue for my fan.